Hi, Adam Tice here with this week's highlights from Unbound. We're going to continue our look at the Holy Week bundle available from Unbound. I hope you'll check out last week's episode as well that featured Dave Bjorlin and his text, Stay With Me, The Night Has Come. Here is the Unbound bundle, New Songs for Holy Week. I hope you'll take a look at it. The link will be in the video description. There are selections for Palm Sunday, Maundy Thursday, and Good Friday. And you can flip through and see what all is included in that bundle in the preview. You can also purchase each of the pieces individually. This week, we're going to take a look at Speak Wooden Cross by Jackie Jones. As usual, the piece includes the full text, a full score in four parts of Talus third mode melody, and then also a unison reprint box. This is my friend, hymn writer Jackie Jones. Her collection, Songs Unchanged uh, But Never Changing, is published through GIA, and we'll include a link to that in the description of the video as well. Thanks for joining me, Jackie. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for asking me. First thing I'd like to do is just have you read the text of Speak Wood and Cross for us. Speak, wooden cross, you knew this place where thousands perished here. The ground beneath you daily soaked with sweat and blood and fear. What did you see that ancient day when death was nothing new? Another threat to Roman peace? Another rebel Jew? The nails that pierced your grain that day held timeless feet in place. Your outstretched beam secured the arms of wisdom, love, and grace. God used your strength on Calvary to lift the weight of sin, to cancel out the power of death so new life could begin. You could not know the wounded man bore our creator's face. And on that day, the spirit's love was in your harsh embrace. For though your beam and post and nail redemptive work was done, revealed within those wretched hours by God's beloved one. You must have felt the groaning earth beneath the darkened sky as one unjustly crucified was left alone to die. With time, your wood fell to decay and scattered on the earth, but you were witness to God's grace, the new creations Thank you. I love the vocabulary in that. The, the phrase harsh embrace really stuck out to me as you read it. What can you tell me about the origins of this text? What inspired you to write it? Well, I, I, I wanted to write um, a, a, a Holy Week hymn, and, uh, and I wanted to write a Trinitarian hymn. And so those were sort of in the back of my mind. But as I was grappling with it, um, I thought back to a play that I saw on Broadway many years ago. I have no idea how many years ago. It was called Strider. And I think it was based on a short story by Tolstoy. And um, it was a story, a historic story told through the, by a horse. And this horse had been part of events in history. And, and, and the horse narrated the story. And then when it got to the end, the horse became so old that it was no longer useful. It was put out to pasture and left to die. And it did die and the earth covered it over with soil and its body nourished flowers and grass. Um, and so it, in that respect, lived on. Um, I found that, in, that ending incredibly poignant and it made a very deep impression on me. Now, I've since seen a script of the play Strider, and that's not exactly how the script ends. So I don't know if it's just how I remember it or um, that maybe they did a little different on Broadway or, or whatever. But when I went to write this, then I brought that forward. I'm, I'm not a biblical historian, but it's my understanding that crosses were reused. Um, and I guess that makes sense. And so this, the cross that Jesus died on could have been there for years and it could have seen thousands of deaths 
and this literally could have just been another one. And so um, it seemed to me that the cross might have its own story to tell. And then of course, I, and I, I then went on to say it might decay and scatter, but its story would live after it. So that's kind of a, a long version of, of how I got to that point. Well, that brings together a lot of pieces about you all in one story, which I appreciate. One of the things I've noticed about your work is how often you bring in this awareness of drama and narrative and uh, drama in the most literary sense. Um, how, where does that background come from? Uh, what is it about you that brings those pieces to the forefront? Well, I, I actually, that is my background theater. I, I have a degree in theater. Um, and my primary emphasis, um, although I did some acting, was directing and choreographer, choreography. And um, directors and choreographers are really storytellers um, because they bring together the disparate elements of script and acting and makeup and set and costumes and bring all of those things together in the service of the story that's being told in the production. So that's sort of how my mind works as a storyteller. Um, so I guess that, that's where it comes from. And it's interesting to me, I think there's a real place for storytelling in hymns. And I think that need is growing. Uh, can you reflect on how hymns that tell stories might, uh, might inform our worship and uh, it might contribute to our worship? Well, I've, I've written quite a few that, that, sort of, that paraphrase or retell scripture um, and, and tell those scriptural stories in the hymn. And I, I think there's value when a, a congregation has heard scripture read and preached on or prayed on to then put those words into the congregation's mouth and let the congregation sing that story back. Um, and I think um, I, I think there's there's great value in that and, and in in faith formation. So um, yes, I, I I'm very much of an advocate of of hymns that tell stories and put those words into the mouths and hearts of the congregation. Well, Jackie, thank you very much for this text. I hope that folks will make use of it this Holy Week. This is Speak Wooden Cross. It's available in the Holy Week packet from Unbound or individually, and you can also find it in the collection Assembled for Song, Volume 2. The links for all of those will be in the video description. Thanks for joining us this week.